Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to tell you how to get familiar with AutoCAD 2019. But first, let me tell you the difference between this version 2019 and the other versions of AutoCAD. Well, the only differences are in the user interface. And by that I mean the arrangement of the command buttons. As you can see in this version, there are some group commands or palettes, we call it a tool palette, that appears to you in the user interface. But in some old versions of AutoCAD, uh, 2009 and older versions, these palettes does not exist. But the same reason or the purpose of AutoCAD is still the same. I mean, you can still create the same 2D and 3D shapes using all the versions of AutoCAD. Now let's start getting familiar with AutoCAD. We're going to start from up here to down. As you can see, in this bar up here, you can see that there's the title and the name of the program, Auto, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2019 student version. And here you can see the title of the project that you are working on. So as you can see here, drawing one, also here drawing one. When you move to the left, you can see some quick access commands like new, open, save, save as, and other buttons or commands. We have print, our plot over here. This is the menu button. When you click on it, you still have the same commands or buttons that appears on this bar. Going down here, we have some pull down lists. The file one have some options in here. We have also the edit, cut, copy, paste, other things, view, insert, format and other things like this. Also when you move down here you have all the command buttons are grouped or related in a small palette that is called draw for example. So in this palette you can see all the commands or the buttons related with drawing. We have the line, the polyline, circle, arc and rectangle and other things related with drawing. Click in here again, and you can see all the uh, other options are hidden. This is the modify palette. You can see the move command, the rotate, trim, erase, copy, mirror, and other commands that is related with modify. Click in the arrow. You can see some other commands. Click again and modify, and all the extra features or the extra commands are hidden. Annotate, you can manage and edit everything related with text and dimension from this option. We have the layers palette. We're going to edit and manage anything related with layers from this palette. We have the block. We're going to insert block create, edit, and do other things related with blocks. Here we have the properties. We have the properties of the drawing. We're going to change the color of the drawing. We're going to change the line weight, and by that I mean the line thickness. And then we're going to change the line type, and by that I mean which whether the line is continuous or whether the line is discontinuous, dotted, slashed, or something like this. Then we have some other palettes. I'm not going to explain these in this lecture. Now when you move down, this large box is the workspace. And here we're going to create all the 2D shapes in this area. So on the left one, we have, I mean by the right side of the workspace, we have the navigation option. 
you see this box over here when you click on it you can see all the navigate navigation tools you can move from the top the left the front view and we're going to use these when we create 3d shapes but since we're going to deal with 2d shapes we're not going to use this a lot moving down here we have the full navigation wheel and by this when you see the mouse the mouse crawling on the drawing you can see all the options of this but this is very confusing I do not recommend to use this option or this feature it is very confusing we have the pan command the pan you can move the drawing up down left right and then move down to the zoom extents we have some zoom options in here zoom in zoom out zoom object I'm going to explain all these commands in the next lecture also we have the orbit and the slow motion and those two buttons are related with 3d and the animation thing we're not gonna explain these buttons or commands since we are dealing with 2d shapes okay so moving down to the command bar as you can see when you click on any command button like the line you can see that the line command is activated and they tell you what to do when you choose this command so for example the line they are telling you to specify the first point so when you go in here and click or choose any point you can see that they are telling you to specify the next point so just choose another point and now you can see that the line has been created so the command bar are very helpful to tell you which command is activated so when you click on raise you can see that the raise is activated in here when you click on rectangle just hold on for a second you can see that the rectangle is activated on the bar okay press the escape on the keyboard and you can deactivate the command now moving down to this bar and we call it the status bar you can see that we have the model the model is the is the space where we create the shapes we have layout one layout two and we're going to explain everything about the layouts in the next lectures then when you go to here we have some other options like customization we have the clean screen which goes to full screen when you click on it as you can see now we are in the full screen mode click on it again and we're gone to the normal mode again we have the isolate objects we have annotation monitor we have the workspaces switching and this is very important or helpful and when you click on it you can see some options in here or some workspaces and as we as I told you we are creating 2d shapes so that's why we are choosing the drafting and annotation. You can create all the 2D shapes in this workspace. If you want to create a 3D model, you can choose whether the 3D basics or the 3D modeling. But for now, we're going to choose the drafting and annotation. We have the annotation scale. Everything relates with the annotation here. We have the snap cursor and we're going to, to talk about all these things in detail in the next lecture but first let me show you this we have the grid mod and some people find it very helpful to make the grid appears for you on the workspace and some people just don't like to have grids on the screen so just this, this is it you can just press on it again and it will disappear it's very easy and that's it for getting familiar with AutoCAD the interface is very easy everything is shown to you there's no hidden thing and in the next lectures I'm going to tell you about the keyboard shortcuts 
for the command and it's going to be a lot faster and easier for you to create shapes only using the mouse and the keyboard. And thanks.